question is from Chris Davenport with the Washington Post. Well, for the, the landing that you guys just witnessed today, there's a number of things that we look at, a number of factors, uh, weather being one of them. Uh, you saw great weather today. Um, we, in addition, we look at the, uh, the readiness of the, rec of the recovery team to make sure they're ready to go. We look at the handover time on orbit between the incoming crew and the departing crew to make sure there's enough time for activities to be accomplished uh, before the departing crew leaves. Uh, we do have the benefit of having NASA astronaut Don Pettit remaining on board. He'll be coming home on Soyuz in, in April. Um, and so he'll continue the handover with the crew. Which is the keen interest in Butch and Sonny. All five major television networks cut it. Um, you, you know, the thing I think back of this whole time frame is how uh, really resilient Butch and Sonny were the whole time. I mean, they launched on what was going to be a short test flight with the crew flight test vehicle with Boeing. And then they moved very quickly into station increment operations and they became seamlessly part of the International Space Station. And they did that because they're experienced astronauts and we had prepared, right? We had flown gloves for them to do spacewalks and we had flown a lot of components for them. So I think that shows the adaptability of crew members. And if I think forward to exploration and maybe some harsh missions uh, to the Martian surface someday, or back to the moon, you know, the adaptability of crew members, uh, mm -hmm. changing the timeline for their return. The mission uh, for Steve Stitch, um, you had mentioned your discussion. Uh, certainly a huge thank you to their families. Uh, you know, when you think about Butch and Sonny, they uh, enjoyed their time on station. They got to do spacewalks and they got to do lots of cool science and things like that. Their families are the ones that really, you know, kudos to them for uh, being resilient in a, a planned short duration flight now turning into a long duration. And I think back of when they went into quarantine, they went into quarantine in the April timeframe for the early May launch that we had for the crude flight test. So the families, a huge thank you to them. I'm sure the reunion is gonna be wonderful with the families. And I'm just wondering, has Boeing given you a 100% agency? We work for the president and who's ever there, um, we work for them. Uh, we had an input from that office. We took a look at it. Um, and, you know, our job is to take all the inputs we get and operate as successful and safely as we can. And that's what we would did for this administration. And that's what we would do for any administration. Of when the astronauts will be landing back here in Houston and Rio. You know, we're certainly looking at Starliner very carefully. We're in the process of looking at that vehicle, looking at the helium system. We've got some candidate seals that we're going to replace. We'll get into some testing. Uh, here over the summer time frame with uh, what we call an integrated doghouse at White Sands. Uh, so we're looking at that. It's okay, B. It shows the flexibility of our... What we did was we tried to look for opportunities to, to bring the crew back when it was safe to do so. And, you know, we always had a lifeboat, a way for them to come home all the way back to Starliner. If you remember during the Starliner crewed flight test mission, we said if there were an emergency during part of that mission, we considered the thrusters, the service module thrusters, good enough to bring the crew back then. We then transitioned to the Crew 8 vehicle for a temporary time frame until Crew 9 arrived. So we always had a way to get the crew home safely should we need to. And then it really became when is the right time? When is the right time to bring them back? And then when we had to swap over Dragon capsules from uh, the new vehicle, which wasn't quite ready, we moved to Capsule 210. We figured this March time frame was the time frame to execute these, this direct handover that we just did so thank you guys
and Splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Good main release. All hooks open. All hooks are open. And undocking confirmed. Freedom is free of its moorings. Sonny Williams and Butch Heart Wilmore begin their novel. belated trip home. Separation confirmed. Undocking <laughs> occurring right on time at 12.05 a.m. Central Time. 105 a.m. Eastern Time.